It's a little lackluster right now from Sampras. And he goes through these patches, it seems, where he just isn't doing much. And again, it looks like he's coming up out of the hit. Just getting away from what he does well, which is sound, solid execution. Zetsky is returning incredibly well. Advantage with Zetsky. Any time he can get his racket on the ball, he's knocking it down low to Sampras's feet. And a chance here to get the double break in the second set. And there's a string gone for Sampras as well to compound the problems. Well, Sampras strings those rackets so tightly. And you can see it looked like that one may have broken at the grommet which is really where a lot of the stress accumulates in such a tight string bed. He stringed his rackets upwards of 85 pounds. Can't two. convert on the volley, and indeed, Rosetsky breaks through for the double break. Leads for one. Which number two leads by four games to one. Zetsky like was going to win the opening set, and Sampras did, and you expected him to move up a gear and start really imposing his game on Rosetsky, but it hasn't been that way at all. Rosetsky's, in fact, upped his level, responded to the challenge. You know, and I sense from that remark Sampras made to Wayne McEwen that there's not a lot of love lost between these two. You know, he said, every time I serve, he's taking his time. So there's a battle of wills going on here as well. Rosetsky wisely trying to establish his own tempo. best shot in the world during the course of the 90s, that running forehand from Sampras. Sampras, you see him getting his grip right on that backhand. That's a good body serve by Rosetsky. His serves are different as well. So much movement off the court. Well, as a right-hander playing a lefty, that is the most annoying serve because it looks like you're going to play a forehand, but by the time the ball gets to you, it's right in your body, and you really have to play a backhand. Oh. Lightning-fast reactions from Sampras on the return. That's why he is a seven-time Wimbledon champion, that abbreviated backswing. to the line. Well, you saw Rosetsky call it out. He was <laughs> almost inducing the linesman to call it out. Wayne McEwen also along that sideline. Felt it was out too. Please. Yeah. 
Sampras chewing up that second serve. Sampras suddenly a different player, down one, Thank four, you. two breaks. Courtesy to both players, please do not call out in between first and second serves. Thank you. First serves in in this match. Yeah. Yeah. Unable to really do too much with that return. And again, Rosetsky aiming for the body. Picks him off, but it was the back end that really set up the chance. Yeah, Rosetsky tried to apply some pressure. Advantage this Sampras. response here, not well handled by the Brit. Sampras easily finishing it off. Another break point. Number three here. Yeah, he's missed it. And you can see why that double break the Rosetsky claimed in this second set might be crucial. Leads. Well, from what I see in this set of tennis, I think that's telling us that these conditions are very slow. It's very humid out there, and the ball is not traveling through the air quickly. Davis Cup captain Patrick McEnroe looking on, and I'm sure he's saying, how come these big servers are losing their serves so much? And I think it has a lot to do with the conditions here. Sampras got the wake-up call. It's incredible to think of Sampras, isn't it? If it hadn't have been for the extension of the seeds in Grand Slams these days, with 32 men getting seeded, he wouldn't have been seeded. Could have had a Sampras Agassi first round. I think it was what back 1989 was the last time he was unseated. I mean, he's been what men's tennis has been all about the last decade. Can you imagine how about a Hewitt Sampras opener? As you mentioned, Mark, if Sampras doesn't defend the points he earned here last year, his ranking will drop outside the top 50. So if he doesn't have a good indoor season at the end of the year, he could be unseated down at the Australian Open. Love service game for Sampras. Seen Sampras play as many half volleys as he has tonight. I mean, I'd say in the last six months, I've seen more than I did in his entire career. going on on the slice backhand. Sampras made the move, but couldn't control the volley. It was a nice little approach, too, wasn't it? He snuck in behind it. Rosensky came up with a nice backhand drive. Oh, 
15. Zeski just having a look at that one. He's not going to get any joy from the umpire. That's all he can do. And force Rosetsky to serve out for this second set. 4 5, Sampras trails. Spotlight firmly on him whenever he's at any tournament. But it's never brighter than at the US Open. Same scoreline, different evening, different set. Musetsky trying to serve this one out. Thank you. Seats quickly, please. Back of the court. I didn't hear him say, close the gates. I feel like we're watching a cage match here when they close the gates. This match goes on, it could well develop into something like that. Good thing, love. This is good serving by Rosetsky. He's not trying to do too much. He's not going for the heat. And I think recognizing that Sampras hasn't really found a rhythm on his return. Great play. Got himself into the net for the volley. And I really enjoy watching Rosetsky when he's playing like this. Aggressive. He comes in on the forehand, plays the volley, and makes it a very tough, prop tough proposition to win a point when he's got a solid position at the net. Contrast to the previous evening, Rosetsky does indeed serve out this set, and we've got a match on our hands. Probably that chip return enough. And they're doing what you said, Lee, just getting the ball back in play. It's just taking a moment here, breaking up Rosetsky's rhythm. He's made it. The crowd go crazy, and so does Sampras in some respects. It's about as much emotion as you'll ever see from him. Well, we were wondering where the service return had gone. And here he is delivering two gems in the breaker. loyalty lies Best shot in the world during the course of the 90s, that running forehand from Sampras.
Valentino. They're down low to Sampras's feet. And a chance here to get the double break in the second set. There's a string gone for Sampras as well to compound the problems. Sampras strings those rackets so tightly. And you can see it looked like that one may have broken at the grommet which is really where a lot of the stress accumulates in such a tight string bed. He strings his rackets upwards of 85 pounds. It's a little lackluster right now from Sampras. And he goes through these patches, it seems, where he just isn't doing much. And again, it looks like he's coming up out of the hit. Just getting away from what he does well, which is sound, solid execution. Zetsky is returning incredibly well. Advantage for Zetsky. And any time he can get his racket on the ball, he's not good, but it hasn't been that way at all. Zetsky's, in fact, upped his level, responded to the challenge. You know, and I sense from that remark Sampras made to Wayne McEwen that there's not a lot of love loss between these two. You know, he said, every time I serve, he's taking his time. So there's a battle of wills going on here as well. Rosetsky wisely trying to establish his own tempo. Can't convert on the volley, and indeed, Rosetsky breaks through for the double break. Leads for one. Which number two leads by four games to one. <laughs> Started it like Rosetsky was going to win the opening set. And then Sampras did, and you expected him to move up a gear and start really imposing his game on Rosetsky.